Hello Westland and welcome to a very special edition of Around Town with Megan Kirk. I'm on location here in Detroit for the historic partnership between Kronk Gym and the Norwayne Boxing Gym in Norwayne Westland community. Stay tuned here for more as I go through the event and talk to some historic Kronk boxing legends. Welcome everyone, press, family, fans, and lovers of all things Kronk. I'm Kathy Heasley, I'm Kronk's brand champion, and I'll be moderating today's conference. At our table today, we have Sylvia Stewart-Williams, who's been the owner of Kronk for the last two decades. She's also a former boxing promoter and the daughter of Hall of Fame trainer, Emmanuel Stewart. We have Jeff Stiers, founder and CEO of Aero Strategies, former boxing and MMA commissioner for the state of Michigan. He's also the founder of Norwayne Boxing Gym Youth Development Program and a former pro boxer himself. And we also have here today the honorable Mayor Wild of the city of Westland, Michigan. Before we begin, I do want to thank the TCF Center for graciously allowing us to rest at the foot of this famed Joe Lewis statue, a place of history, legacy, and power. Thank you for helping make this all possible. A little bit about the order of the day. The conference will start with Sylvia, Jeff, and Mayor Wild's prepared comments. Then we will open it up to a few questions. So Sylvia, let's start with you. Okay. Well, today is a very exciting day for me. It's one um, that my father would be very thrilled that is happening, and it is happening. Today is a day when my father's dream and his legacy of creating champions inside and outside of the ring has a, p a potential to reach new heights. For 25 plus years, I have been leading Kronk. It has been a big job. After my father's passing, my mother was determined to have the gym reopened to continue my father's legacy. She managed the Kronk Community Center from 2015 to 2021, keeping the name alive and his dream. I had countless offers to buy Kronk. Some days it sounded very well and very appealing, but something was missing. It was my heart telling me that, no, just wait. Then came Jeff Styers. We were reintroduced several years ago when Jeff helped us furnish the Kronk Boxing Gym in Detroit. My father knew Jeff and respected him as a boxer and a leader. Jeff and my father had something in common, and it was about taking care of the kids. That's when the opportunity to partner presented itself. I listened, and I was interested. Sylvia's father, the legendary Emmanuel Stewart, truly was an icon who I respected and looked up to from the time I was a young boxer myself. The Kronk Gym that he led was a name I respected, as did many. When I'd see a boxer in the opposite corner wearing those red and gold colors, I knew I had a hell of a fight on my hand. Emmanuel took care of his boxers like he did his own kids, and I admired that. So as I grew up, retired from my own professional boxing career, and moved on into business, I took the life lessons I learned from boxing with me. They were the absolute keys to my success. So eight years ago, I started a boxing gym in the Norway area of Westland. It was patterned off of, in my mind, how Emmanuel ran his gym. Caring about the kids, making sure they had food, getting good grades, and growing up to be good citizens and good leaders. I'm proud to say our kids are both improving and excelling in those areas, 
of their lives as well. That's progress, that's success, and it's amazing to witness. So when the opportunity came to partner with Kronk, a brand that is known around the world, I contemplated what that could mean to our kids. What could that mean to both attracting and helping more youth? And the answer was simply more. With a strong brand and legacy behind us, we could do more for more kids. And that's why I'm sitting here today. I'm a spiritual person and a man of great faith, and I believe in timing and that we're all here for a reason. When I was a teenager, I received a letter from Emmanuel, which I kept all these years later. And without going into detail, I'm just simply going to say I believe there's divine intervention at play here. And that's how I know that we are doing the right thing at the right time and for the right reasons. Well, if that wasn't enough, we had a flash flood in Detroit, and our gym, gym had to be closed. And that was right before the Golden Gloves, which was, you know, we had to have somewhere to train. And Jeff opened the doors to Norway Gym and allowed our kids and coaches to be there. It was like God was bringing us back, to, uh, bringing us together in one way or another. And Westland was destined to be another crock location. John, years ago, meaning John, the mayor, uh, mayor of Wayne, Michigan, he introduced me to Meyer Wild with my father and, you know, for a potential gym. And, you know, for some reason, we did not do anything, but then came Jeff, and now <laughs> we're in uh, Westland because of Noah Wayne. So I'm like, I want to say thank you. From, um, and Jeff made it possible. From that moment, our kids and our coaches all came together. We just knew it was the right thing to do. Maybe it's a good time for me to introduce our coaches, the ones that's here. Some of them are in Las Vegas. You know, we have the fight there, and I think Milton had to be at work, so he's been taking off for the Golden Gloves, and that's what's going on. So from the Detroit gym, we, had, we have our world champion, former world champion, Milton McCoy. Like I said, he's not here. And we have Rick, I don't see Rick. Oh, okay, there you go. Ronnie and Tiara. And those are our coaches from that gym. <laughs> we also have international coaches, like Jonathan Banks. He will always be a part of Kronk, no matter where he is. If he's not uh, wearing the Kronk 9 and 10, he is but he is a Kronk uh, coach, and he is always allowed to come in our gym. And then we have Sugar Hill, which is my father's nephew. And Sugar Hill at this time is in Las Vegas for the fight. He's training Tyson Fury, which will be tomorrow. And that's the reason why my mother is not here also. She's there in Vegas with uh, Sugar Hill. And she don't need to be with me because I have a lot of support here. Uh, he needs that support down there. And introducing our trainers from Norway, we have our assistant coach, Terry. And I'd also like to introduce, I'd also like to introduce the winningest coach in the state right now, a, a guy who's been with me from the very beginning, my good friend, Erskine Wade. Oh my goodness. If all of the Kronk uh, coaches could stand right now, please, to be recognized. Thank you. You're truly making a difference in young lives, keeping the example that you are to these kids. We should also recognize all the fighters who've been touched by Kroc, and, and there's many and many, and I understand a lot of them are in Vegas for the Tyson Fury fight, but with us today is my good friend and former WBO light middleweight champion, Bronco McCart. Also, in pursuit of our mission, we're honored to have an esteemed board of advisors who help us guide our youth development program. A few of them are with us here today, uh, including Scott Savage, uh, CEO of SJS Investments. Without his words of encouragement to do this, I don't know if we'd be here today. And my former agent and good friend, Wolfgang Mueller of Mueller Law Firm. Uh, Rob Grimaldi, uh, CEO of Ad Infiniantum. Uh, Jim Line, Procurement Executive of Blue Cross Blue Shield of Michigan, 
and our very own Marie Stewart, who we call the Queen of Crack, uh, who's not here. But for the board members that are here, if you could please be recognized. And, and Jeff, uh, can I say one more thing? Lee Barbara, can you stand up? He was world champion. I didn't see him. I saw you when you came in. It's just like, okay, cool. Thank you. Thank you, uh, and thank you, board members, for your continued guidance and generosity. Plus, through our partnership, we have gained a world-class team from Norway. They had a success, uh, they, well, they do. They have a successful youth development program, and now they are part of CROC. So let me introduce some of the um, team members. We have Lori Maybe, and she will be the executive CROC director. We have Chris Raymond, and he's the mentor program coach. And Jan Mitch, she's not here today, but she is the program director. So, ah, where do we stand right now, or where are we going? Well, we have, um, we're moving forward. And Jeff, do you want to chime in on that? <laughs> okay, so in one word, and the word is more, that's what we want to do, more. More kids to help in more locations, more amateurs, more pros, more profession, uh, professional fighters, and more champs. More opportunity that drives more funding so we can provide more for our kids. That's the way my father would have wanted, more. Thanks, Sylvia. And I agree, yes, more is the word. And we are definitely planning for more youth to be a part of the program. Tomorrow, October 9th, from 2 to 5 p.m., we're having an uh, open house at our gym. There will be a ribbon cutting ceremony, tours of the facility, sparring exhibitions, and a few former champions on hand. And that's just the beginning. I can also tell you that on November 13th, we'll be holding the first Kront Gala to share our kids' success and raise funds for, for, to further our programs you'll all be invited. Finally, I can tell you that we agree that Kronk is synonymous with the city of Detroit. We know that. And we're already working in talks for a Kronk Detroit location in addition to our Norwayne home. As there's a lot that goes into this, we don't have a timetable just yet, but you'll be among the first to know once that is set. I'm thrilled that the Kronk Boxing Gym's first of many homes is in the Norwayne area of Westland and serving the entire Metro Detroit area. Not only is it my childhood stomping ground, but also the city of Westland and Mayor Wild has been a true partner over the last several years with the former Norwayne Boxing Gym, and I'm sure equally supportive of Kronk going forward. Mayor Wild, thank you for doing so much over the years to help make this possible. Thank you. <laughs> Well, I have to tell you, Jeff and the, the folks at the Norway Boxing Gym have been doing uh, incredible work uh, over the last seven years, and, and I'm thrilled to be here and part of this historic day. And Jeff, I have to tell you, it's, it's kind of fitting that you put me here behind uh, the picture of the legendary mayor of Detroit, um, <laughs> Coleman Young. And now that's one guy I would not have ever wanted to get in the ring with. <laughs> so, um, but it's exciting to hear that uh, there's, there's so much more on the horizon. Uh, as Kronk embarks upon this new phase of opportunity and impact. Uh, Jeff and Sylvia, the, the city of Westland, just so you know, is, is your partner. We're going to be your partner. Uh, indeed, uh, moving forward in transformation, opportunity, and success for youth all across the metro Detroit area. Uh, we recognize the need across the region and across the nation for young people to find solid ground, develop their character, and build their future, and we're excited to be part of that. Uh, we're in this together because a chance for a better life should be the right of everyone. Uh, Jeff, he's a he's a West Ham success story. Uh, I'd like to say we, you know, we have one we have one thing in common. I'd like to say it's that devastating right hook that, <laughs> but that that was Jeff's uh, that was his gift, not mine. But actually, we both uh, were born in in the Norway. It's a historic. It's the oldest neighborhood in Westland. Jeff actually grew up three streets down from where the Norway Boxing Gym is. So, uh, you know, Jeff is a, he's a story, his story is a great story. It's a story about perseverance 
And if you know Jeff, it's been a story about giving back. Um, it was at our West Ham movie theater where Jeff, when he was just 14 years old, got inspired by the movie Rocky. Uh, he left the movie and uh, legend says that he went home and built a makeshift bo boxing ring in his backyard. So um, I could see that. So, uh, you know, years later after his professional boxing career, and, and you guys know he was 11 and 0, we, we, we've all heard that. So um, <laughs> whoever number 11 was definitely told him, I don't want to do this anymore. So I'd like to hear that story. Uh, but he went on to build a business, a uh, successful staffing company, and today, Jeff is widely known as a successful businessman uh, and a mentor. Uh, today, he's not only a West End success, he's a regional success, he's a Michigan success, and we like to say he's an American success story. Um, you know, Jeff may note how the... <clears throat> Jeff may note how the business world shares attributes with the boxing world, and uh, I can see that because he knocks it out every time He'll continue being a champion in the work he does. We're proud to say he's from Westland and Sylvia. I remember when we met in Westland and, and uh, we had a, I thought was a really good location, but this is better. This is the way it was meant to be. And uh, Jeff said he's spiritual and I agree with him that I think this was the way that it was, was meant to be. Um, so thank you, thank you all for being here today. I'm glad to be part of the, the team in just a little way. Um, you know, Jeff, Continue being a champion, you know, at, at everything you do, and let's surprise the world. Let's work together, and let's do more with us than anybody thought was possible. So good luck to you. Thank you. Thank you, Sylvia. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, Mayor Wild, and the entire Kronk team. Let's have one more round of applause for this amazing group. I want to say before um, she wind everything up, I just want to say thank you for everything you have done for me and for um, Jeff and for Kronk. Um, you have done an excellent job and I just don't want to mess up your um, company name, but it's Kathleen Heasley, right? Right. Um, Heasley and Partner. So it's not an attorney firm, but she <laughs> is uh, for branding and development. Right. And I also want to say thank you to the mayor of Wayne, Michigan. John, you have done everything that you Please have stand. done. Uh, for all the, and he owns, and the reason why I'm saying that is because John owns a graphic, Jonah Graphics, and he did all of this. So um, words cannot express for what you have done, so I want to say thank you. And I do want to say, I want to introduce my um, dad's sister, Diane. Please stand up. Yeah. Okay. And back to you. <laughs> oh, thank you. Well, Sylvia, you're, you're kind. And that's, I won't go into it, but this is quite a brand coming from a person who's done a lot of work on brands. Um, so now it's time for a few questions. So who would like to start? We'll take a first question. Wolf, uh, speak your question, then I'll repeat it so we have it for the. Can you tell us about the youth development part of the program? I understand Crocs with boxing, but tell us about the other part. Wolf would like to have a little bit more about the youth development program. I've got a question. Do you want um, Lori to explain it, or you want to explain it? Yeah, I'll, I'll take this. Uh, okay. So, you know, I, I, Emmanuel Stewart built uh, um, an iconic brand in, in Kronk, and, and uh, although there were many world champions that came out of Kronk, what he was also doing was youth development. He just didn't call it youth development. He was changing kids' lives for the better. We've kind of taken that model and we formalized it a little bit further through a formalized tutoring program, mentoring, launch program, providing our kids scholarships for college or trade school. So it's really taken the legacy that Emmanuel started and uh, uh, so humbled and feel a lot of responsibility to continue that going forward, uh, both in the city of Detroit and surrounding areas for all at-risk youth. Hi, I'm Megan Kirkford. Talk about the full circle moment and receiving the letter and now kind of heading this up for Norway. 
sure. So, so the question is about the letter from Emmanuel Stewart and the full circle of now Norwayne uh, becoming Kronk. Yeah. I was, a, uh, uh, I was a quirky kid, uh, so when I was in 12th grade, I wrote Mike Illich a letter um, because he's involved in amateur boxing back then, and I felt that he should know who I was, and I let him know I'm the future lightweight champion of the world. <laughs> and uh, he sent that letter to Emmanuel, uh, who was very good friends with my trainer, Russ Gilbert, at the time, and uh, Emmanuel just expanded on, uh, knew who I was, and... Um, um, welcomed me to, to join Kronk if I wanted to and to participate in upcoming shows. And he just talked about the vision that he had for young men like me, young, young people like me. And uh, uh, it's, a, it's a letter that, that I kept. And uh, a year ago, uh, Sylvia and Marie uh, started meeting every Saturday. And, they, and they, were, they were meaningful meetings. And we started talking about the possibility of Kronk and Norwayne merging together. And I can tell you that every one of those meetings began with prayer. And uh, we, we asked to be led in a way bigger than ourselves. And, and I produced that letter from, from Sylvia's dad to them and just let them know that I understood about the Kronk legacy and what Kronk means to Detroit. And I was willing to um, be humbled to be a, be a part and, uh, and taking that forward. Thank you. Question over here. Can you actually put in the words um, what it felt like that moment What that actually meant to you in your heart. So the question, the question is uh, that moment when you decided it's time to take Kronk to this level. For me, it was a relief. And, and you know, for our, young, our youth, we had nothing but just the boxing. And to actually hear and see the successful, uh, successful program that Jeff had, um, it was a, a home run. It was no way in the world I could say, no, he offered something that nobody else could. We had people offer to market the products, um, deal with the pros, but they did not really care about our youth or our amateurs, and that was the key. Yeah, I, I think it's a great question. For, for, for me, it was humility. I, I was just, I was, I was humbled. I mean, Kronk's iconic. I mean, there is no gym in the world that can tout 43 plus world champions like Kronk can, and to be, um, you know, to have a 102 amateur fights, to be a pro fighter, to be the boxing commissioner for Michigan, you know, boxing's been my life, and, uh, and, and there, there's no bigger name to that sport than, than Kronk. Question up front. Green Garza, Latino, Detroit. Uh, this really goes out to the mayor. <clears throat> Success is dependent on competition. And in the 70s and the 80s, the Kronk gym was just one of many gymnasiums that were sponsored by the city's recreation department. Also at that time were numerous gyms in the Down River area and there's always been a close tie between the Down River area and the city of Detroit. Do you envision what you're doing here? Will you be able to go back and reinstitute uh, the recreation centers that we used to have here in the city as well as the ones that we had in the Down River area? If this question is about uh, reinvigorating the uh, community centers in the metro area? Well, I, I can speak on behalf of Westlands. So the, the Norway Boxing Gym is located in a community center in, in the city of Westland. Um, you know, they, they've, they've came in seven years ago and the, the whole process was, uh, you know, to, for Jeff to give back to the community. We watched it, you know, offer a, a transformational way for uh, for youth that were in the surrounding area, but also uh, all throughout Westland, to become involved in something bigger, something that that gave them uh, opportunity and and hope. Um, so, you know, moving forward, I know that this may feel a little little strange moving from Detroit to Westland, but I think that uh, with, with Jeff's uh, connection to, uh, to Kronk Boxing, to Detroit, to Westland, I think this is a great opportunity. Uh, and it also, it, it also shows the partnership where, you know, a, as it moves beyond Norway to maybe some other communities, um, it isn't a community center in the, in the city of Westland. You know, it's not in a recreation center like Detroit, 
but it's in a community center and I think it offers a, a footprint that could be replicated in other uh, communities uh, you know around Metro Detroit we have time for one more question coach from my understanding is the scholarships involved in the program too the question is about the scholarships in the program so uh, yes, so so uh, our curriculum, if you will, is based on tutoring, mentoring, and leadership, uh, but it's also a launch program. And by launch program, our goal is for every one of our children to be able to launch in a way that they wouldn't have been able to do without our program to either college, trade school, or military. And uh, uh, I'll just give you an example. Ryan Reed, who's one of our boxers, six years ago didn't know how to box, joined the program and uh, was a National Golden Glove heavyweight champion two years ago, was invited to train with the U.S. Olympic team twice, and uh, graduated high school, and I can tell you that uh, Ryan is now uh, enrolled at Northwestern Technical Center on a scholarship from our program to learn HVAC. Tremendous success story. Well, oh, one more question. I'd like to know with uh, Mike Tyson returning to the ring here recently, when is Jeff going to put the gloves back? <laughs> <laughs> senior tour or something? <laughs> senior <laughs> tour. <laughs> You know, I, I, I will tell you that uh, uh, fighting never leaves a fighter's spirit, and so um, fighters always talk. And so a few years ago, myself, uh, Coach Wade, uh, who was a contender, fought for the title twice, and Bronco McCart, former world champion, we just talked too much one day. And next thing I know, the three of us found ourselves at the gym by ourselves, and we went round robin. And um, uh, well, I'm going to tell the truth. I'm going to tell the truth. Uh, it was, uh, I, I think we all got the better of one another. Um, Bronco will tell you that um, he got my nose pretty good, but I didn't put grease on. I didn't put grease on, so I'll dispute that a little. He needs a southpaw, which should be illegal anyway. So. Well, we promised we would end at 1030, that our press conference would be a half an hour, and we are on the money here with 1030. So um, I do want to thank everybody for coming. Um, it concludes the conference portion of our morning. However, we have an hour to mix, mingle, take photos, uh, do additional questions uh, with our esteemed group here, and um, just enjoy this monumental, wonderful day of more. Thank you. I'm joined now by the mayor of Westland, Mayor William Wild, here at the press conference for Crunk Gym. Mayor, can you tell us a little bit of why we're here? Well, certainly, it's, it's definitely it is exciting. So, you know, this is uh, going to be a new partnership between, uh, you know, Jeff Styers and the Emmanuel Stewart family. Uh, they're going to take the Norwayne Boxing Gym and they're going to rebrand it as uh, Crunk Boxing Norwayne. And then it's going to be for, that'll, that'll be their base of operations, and then eventually uh, you'll see other franchises or other Kronk uh, boxing gyms in other cities. But it's exciting for West End to be part of it. It's exciting to see, uh, you know, a, a homegrown, uh, you know, success story. Jeff Styers uh, that's so actively involved, and, and he's found a way to merge, uh, you know, his passion for uh, boxing with his hometown and his business sense. So it's exciting for it to come together. It's exciting that Westland's gonna be part of this. And I'm really looking forward for the opportunity for, for uh, certainly for all Metro Detroit area youth, but I'm really excited about this opportunity for Westland youth. This is gonna take uh, an existing program to a whole new level. There's gonna be a lot of opportunity and lots of uh, uh, opportunity for uh, our young youth in uh, not only the Norway area, but all of Westland. So it's an exciting day. So I know we talked a lot about the vision of the youth development program, but in a year's time, what would you want to see happen with the youth development program? You know, that's the part about the program that's actually the best part of the program. Uh, you know, as, as you peel back the layers and you get into what the whole Norway Boxing Gym was, it's very similar to what the Crank Boxing Gym philosophy was. It was basically, you know, taking young men and women uh, and giving them an opportunity. You know, part of the boxing gym's thing is, you don't walk in on day one and start boxing. You got to earn the right to get into that ring. And part of that is this developmental stuff. It's about doing your homework and going to school and, and going through some mentorships. Uh, they've been doing uh, beginning coding classes. We have a learning lab right inside the gym. So 
there's so much more to it. There's community involvement, um, life lessons. I mean, it's a great program, and I think with this new partnership, we're going to take it to a whole new level. Okay, Westland, I was able to find a very historic picture. Does anyone look familiar in this photograph? I was able to locate one of the children who was photo with famed boxing legend Muhammad Ali. How are you? Good, how are you? I am doing great, so tell us a little bit about you. Well, my name is Tarek, Tarek Salmasi, um, former professional boxer, uh, Kronk boxer, Kronk amateur. I was born and raised at the Kronk gym. I uh, retired about 10 years ago. I'm in the real estate business now, so doing real estate full time. So talk to me about Kronk's legacy. Oh, I first walked into Kronk back in 1983, 82, um, and that, that was the place to be. That was the most, by far, the most famous gym in the history of boxing. Still is to this day. So even growing up, always hearing about Kronk and Thomas Hearns, et cetera. Uh, finally getting a chance to go down there as a kid. It was alone a dream come true as a kid. And I was fortunate enough to be raised there from eight years old throughout my amateur career and pro career with Emmanuel and uh, some other Kronk trainers down there. So, so Kronk's a legacy, you know? So if you could talk to the young guy in this photo, what would you tell him now seeing your success? I would tell him, don't let the frustrations, the trials and tribulations of boxing affect uh, your passion for it. I tell it to other kids out there. Um, you know, find your passion and when you find that, uh, don't nothing break it. Because whatever it is a kid wants to be or, go th or become, as you know, you're going to go through frustration. Nothing's perfect. But you learn from the frustration and it makes you better, whether it be a boxer or whatever else you do in life. So how about you tell us the story behind this photograph? Back then, the kids didn't believe me. But I went to, the, I went to meet Ali. And, you know, growing up, he was an inspiration to me, to all of us kids, especially as boxers. Um, I wrote a letter to him about how much he meant to me. I wrote a letter, uh, took it with me. And I remember Ali, especially now the most famous athlete in of history. Imagine back then, he was still kind of just retirement. Maybe he's probably like five years out of retirement. So Ali was like bigger than Jordan, bigger than LeBron, as you know. I walked up to him and gave him a letter, you know, told him how I feel. He put it in his jacket, took a photo of me, et cetera, spoke to me a little bit, getting ready to leave. He grabbed me, he grabbed me, he was a community kid, and he whispered in my ear, he told me, hey, look, you want to succeed? Stay out of gangs, stay in school, uh, listen to your parents. And, and when he said that, those words like kind of stuck, stuck with me. Imagine your hero saying it to your ear, you know? Anyway, the next day, the following day in the morning, getting ready to go to school, my phone rings in my house. I left my phone number on the, on the letter, and it was Muhammad Ali. I was in total shock. I couldn't believe it. I was like, this man who, you know, could just easily, he took a photo with me. I was happy, could have gone on, gone on uh, with life, but this guy really took time out to read my letter and call me and speak to me for like 15, 20 minutes about life and boxing is everything and have something to fall back on, etc. So he really uh, took an effect in my, in my life and my career. I appreciate him for that. A lot, and of, a, lot, a lot of athletes these days, these big athletes, you, kids give him letters, emails all day long, and how many kids get return phone calls? But Ali made everyone feel special. And now you're doing it for other children. Thank you so much for joining. You're welcome. I'm standing here with Councilman Pro Tim, Mike Londo, who is joining us at the Kronk Press Conference. Can you talk to us about the importance of bringing Kronk to the city of Westland? It's absolutely incredible. I mean, the Kronk brand, I mean, everybody from the Detroit area knows the Kronk brand and around the world knows the Kronk brand. So it's really a fantastic thing for Westland and the Metro Detroit area. It's going to open up a lot of more opportunities for our youth in the community. So I hear that you have a little bit of an original tie with Kronk. You want to tell us a little about it? I do. Uh, as you see some of the fighters in the room here uh, back around 2015, I was on the other side of the microphone and I was interviewing some of the fighters at the uh, Norway Boxing Gym when we had the uh, small exhibition over there. So really exciting to see it come full circle and to see Kronk Gym come to the city of Westland. I'm standing here with Mayor of Wayne, John Racy. Mayor Racy, can you please tell us how you got involved here uh, with the partnership with Kronk? Uh, sure. Um, I actually started working with Kronk back in 2005 uh, when th they were having issues with wanting to, to get the, to close the gym 
and fundraising with that and uh, developed a relationship with Emmanuel Stewart and his family and uh, been working with them doing graphic design work uh, all these years and uh, actually in that early days tried to talk with uh, Mayor Wild before I was a council person actually and uh, trying to, to find a, a, a location for them and we we went and looked at a, a building that's now uh, the cigar place on Ford Road. Mm -hmm. And so they toured that with Emmanuel and uh, things just didn't work out. And uh, and uh, now we're here. And then actually uh, when when uh, they, they decided to, after Emmanuel Stewart passed away, um, they were trying to figure out how they were going to make things work. And I introduced them to Jeff Steyers. And so Jeff Steyers ended up helping them, and, and that's how the, their relationship began between Sylvia and, uh, and Jeff Steyers to uh, now have what we're having today. So being that you had an intricate part in the relationship, can you talk to me about the importance of bringing this to the citizens of Wayne as well as Westland? I think it's it's huge. I think it's it's economically going to be huge. I think it's great for that area. I think it's it's amazing to have something so iconic to want to come to our our communities. Um, this is a big, a really big deal. And, and if they're able to do what they want to do, God only knows where we're going to go with this. This is going to really bring a, a spotlight onto the Norway community, and uh, be something that be known around the world. I'm joined by another legend from the Kronk Boxing Gym, here to tell us a little bit about his story and what Kronk means to him. How are you? Marvelous. So tell me a little bit about you. Oh, hey. I'm a former uh, world boxing champion out of Kronk Gym. I was there from like the 70s till about 2000. And uh, I saw all the champions, Tommy Hearns, Henry Kenty, everybody come up from teenagers to, to old men now, you know? So I go, I go way back in boxing. I'm a native Detroiter, born and raised, graduate high school. You know, um, I've had much success here, and uh, I'm just happy to be part of such an illustrious uh, regime. It's Kronk. So talk to me a little bit about what Kronk means to you and what, what the expansion into Westland means. Well, Kronk meant a lot to me in my youth. It gave me some direction. and. I found something I was really good at. I was better than most people at. And that gave me a lot of pride and inner uh, confidence. And to see it fall apart back in 06 like that was very disappointing. And I was hoping somebody could come through like this guy here and maybe reestablish that building. Once they tore it down, and I knew it was over. But to know that the name will sustain itself and, you know, be be uh, something to, uh, to for the youth to look forward to for the next five, ten years. It's a wonderful thing to know that this establishment will go on. We'd like to welcome everybody here to the brand new Kronk Boxing Gym. This is the official ribbon cutting ceremony. We'd like to thank Norwest, Westland, the mayors, the fighters, the facilitators, and everybody for being here. This is truly an epic, epic occasion. So on the count of three, we are gonna cut, cut the ribbon. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Let's make some noise, everybody. You all ready? Yeah. One, two, Three. Welcome everybody. Cut that ribbon. Crock Boxing Gym, Norwest, Westland. Make some noise, everybody. Come on. Yeah. Uh, on behalf of uh, Crock Boxing, uh, some of the people have left here, but uh, I just want to thank uh, all the dignitaries that were able to join us today. Uh, County Executive Warren Evans, uh, Mayor Bill Wiles, Mayor John Racing. Who's a former middleweight, junior middleweight champion, is here as well. Woo! Johnson, former featherweight champion. And as I, I 
said yesterday at the press conference, I just want to reiterate again that, uh, that this journey with Sylvia and the Stewart family is uh, truly humbling uh, for me, and I, I certainly understand the responsibility. Her father, Emmanuel Stewart, was by far the most successful Boston trainer in the world, and although I wasn't a member of Crack, they cert certainly influenced me both as an amateur fighter and a professional. And, um, you know, what Emmanuel Stewart was doing for all those champs and for all those kids for so many years was youth development, although he didn't call it youth development. So I'm excited that now through the formalization of our programs for, for, for youth, uh, we're able to formalize that and with, uh, as a partnership with uh, Sylvia and the rest of the Kong team, the trainers, and those that support. Um, we're just excited about what the future holds and to see how many more kids we can help going forward. So thank you for being here. And I will tell you this, my brother would be very, very proud of this. This is an exclamation point to what he was working on and he wanted to go further because he was working on a plan to educate and have educational programs for the kids. He was trying to put it together and he got too sick. And boy, you guys picked it up and carried the ball home. So thank you. I'm standing here with our council president, Jim Hart, as well as Councilman Jim Guy about to talk about Crunk Jim's ribbon cutting. So tell me a little bit about what you think we're doing here today and how did the ribbon cutting come out? Well, I think it's fantastic. What we did is we cut the ribbon on uh, Kronk's new reemergence and having a brick and mortar right here in the city of Westland. Kronk has a long history in the Detroit metropolitan area for producing probably some of the most, uh, uh, the largest amount of world championship boxers across the country. Uh, and the ribbon cutting was fantastic. We got to see a lot of people as well as uh, the sister from uh, former uh, champ world champion uh, Emmanuel Stewart here to go ahead and dedicate it so really exciting really happy to have Kronk Boxing Gym here in Westland. It is really cool to be around so many legends and I'm gonna come to you so what do you think is gonna happen for the kids here what do you think it means for the children here to have Kronk in Westland? Well, I think it's a great program you know they've got a mentoring program they've got an education program for all the kids you know if the kids don't show up for their uh, after school study sessions they don't get the box and, uh, you know, having grown up right around Kronk Gym down in Detroit, it's great to see it out here in Westland now. And I think it's going to do great things for the kids in this community. Joining me now is Chris Raymond, who's going to be working not on the boxing end of things, but more so on the mentoring end for the children here at Kronk Boxing Gym. Chris, can you tell us a little bit more about your role? Yes. Um, as a mentor, what I do with the kids is I bring them in we have them sign a contract that they, it's between them and me and the director of the program. It's not between their parents or anybody else. It's a behavior contract. They're going to go to school. They're going to pay attention at home. They're going to participate in the gym. They're going to be kind to all the other students. And as such, if they behave, they get to spend time with the coaches in the gym because that's the privilege is to be able to go in there and do the boxing with the trainers. So. What I do with them is we set up what I call dreamscaping. I want them to think about where they're going to be in five years, 10 years, 15 years. What's their dream? I want them to dream big. And the idea is it's not just about boxing. It's about going to school and having something to fall back on. Absolutely. So we know that it's going to work closely with the kids here in Westland. But there, are there any opportunities to bring in children from other communities outside of Westland? Oh, absolutely. We have, uh, right now, I'm working with about 30 different kids, and they are from Southwest Detroit, Romulus, Belleville, Ypsilanti, Westland, and Livonia. All right, and talk to me about instilling that go-getter attitude in the ring as well as outside of the ring. Well, the idea that I like to teach them is that failure is not an option. Here at Kronk, Failure is not an option. If you fail, that's what you learn from. That's just the beginning. The more you fail, the more you learn. The tougher you become in the ring and outside the ring. Success begins with failure. You know what, Chris? I think that's great advice, even for adults. Thank you so much for joining oh, me. No problem. Thank you. 
I'm joined by a very special guest, Diane Stewart-Jones, who is the sister of legendary Emmanuel Stewart. So can you please tell us how your brother would feel about opening up Crunk Boxing Gym here in the Norway Westland community? My brother would have loved this opening, the setup of the gym, the space, and the welcoming attitude, though, of the city, of the mayor, uh, the attention to detail. He would love all of that. But this place actually embodies the spirit of the original Kronk Gym that he had. It was a very welcoming place for all. And we didn't have that in some of the other if locations, but this is really come up what he wanted. Uh, have just the sponsorships, the, the rooms for the children to be educated. Education was extremely important to him. And he had rules that if you wanted to drop out of school, then you had to leave Kronk. This is in the original Kronk. He did not want illiterate boxers there. And so you have classrooms set up and there are a number of programs that are going to uh, enrich the children and those are on the drawing boards and that is what he was working on before he passed in October of 2012. So he'd be very pleased today. So I know we discussed on yesterday bringing more into the community and doing more. Do you think this embodies his more vision? Oh, it does. He was always about growing and expansion, something new. What can be new that would be beneficial for the children? And in his last weeks of life, uh, he would turn to me and I said, what are you thinking about? He says, I'm thinking about my kids, my kids. As sick as he was in the hospital nonstop, he was thinking about his kids. So this is good. And now I'm joined by the man of the hour, Jeff Styers, who is responsible for bringing Kronk Gym to Jefferson Barnes Vital Community Vitality Center. Jeff, can you talk to us about your ribbon cutting? Sure, I think the ribbon cutting uh, signifies uh, kind of the completion of what we've been trying to do for the last 12 months, which is to merge the Norway and Boxing Youth Development uh, Program in with the iconic Kronk name and to uh, expand the program to be able to help more and more kids. And I think having both mayors here and um, uh, the, the city, uh, the, the county commissioner and the former champs all here, I think signifies the type of support and strength we're going to have to open the program. So what are you most excited about the youth uh, learning here? You know, I'm, I'm, you know, wh whether it's academics or life, I'm just looking to kind of have that aha moment for these kids to kind of change the trajectory they've had in their life. Many of them come from um, uh, bad uh, family situations, challenging backgrounds. And I just want them to know that there's a place where we believe in them and that we're going to give them all the tools and resources they need to, to achieve and to get where they want in life. Now, if you could tell any of the parents in Westland or any of our surrounding communities, because as I understand, you guys do accept students outside of Westland, correct? correct? Yes, that's correct. What would you tell them about Kronk, about getting in this gym with you? Yeah, so, so, so Kronk's iconic, right? There's no gym in the world that can boast 43 world champions. And what Emmanuel Stewart's done uh, for the youth over the decades was youth development. He just didn't call it that. Um, so I think having Kronk as a brand now and us working under that name just adds so much more opportunity uh, that we didn't have before, both here locally in Norway and the surrounding communities and really worldwide. I mean, the fact that Tyson Fury is fighting tonight, a heavyweight champion from England, and yet his whole corner will have Kronk gear on and our Kronk trainers training him, I think speaks to the depth and the reach that Kronk can provide us. Thank you for joining me on this edition of Around Town with Megan Kirk, where we have officially welcomed Crunk Boxy Gym into the Norway community. For Around Town, I'm Megan Kirk.